right, hopefully this question was a little bit easier because there was no part where you needed to find um, which term you needed to, how many added to a specific number. All right, so for example here, let's go ahead and find our rule. So we know this was geometric, and what are you doing every time? Every single time you are dividing by 2, since I'm alternating signs, we know that that's actually going to be a negative 2. So let's write our rule. a sub n is equal to, we know our first term is 4. Our common ratio, since we're dividing by 2 and alternating signs, is negative 1 half, all raised to the n minus 1. Okay, the summation notation for the first 10 terms, your sigma, n equals 1, because that's my first term, all the way up to my 10th term. Then you're just going to include your rule in there. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is find the sum of the first 10 terms. So let's use our summation formula, which is our summation formula is the, um, your first term times 1 minus your ratio raised to how many terms you're summing, all divided by 1 minus your ratio. Now, this is a fraction, so just be careful when you're plugging this stuff into your graphing calculator. Okay, so we're summing the first 10 terms. I know my first term is equal to 4. Okay, I'm doing 1 minus negative 1 half, all raised to the 10th, because I'm summing 10 terms, all over 1 minus negative 1 half. Now, there's a lot of negatives, um, here, so let's just make sure, let's actually plug this into our graphing calculator to make sure we're doing this correctly. Okay, so using your order of operations on your graphing calculator, here's what I would do first. The first thing I would do is this portion right here, then you're going to multiply by 4, and then you're going to divide what you have with your answer here. Okay, so you're doing 1 minus, make sure in parentheses you're putting that negative 1 half, and you're using the negative sign here and not the um, minus sign, all raised to the 10th, okay, that's my first yellow portion right here, then I'm going to multiply that by 4, that number outside here, then I'm going to divide that by this portion that I have at the bottom, and I'm going to write that exactly how I see it, so if you want to shorten that to a decimal you can, I probably would do either 1 plus 1 half, or if you don't want to do that, you can just do 1 minus a negative 0.5. Just make sure that you put that whole denominator in parentheses, and that's going to give you your sum of 2.66. Okay? All right, now in this case, this is a convergent series. It's convergent because I can find the sum. I can actually find the sum. Okay, so you're just going to want to make sure convergent means you can find the sum. Um, divergent means you cannot find the sum. And we'll talk a little bit more about um, infinite geometric series. And sometimes they're convergent and sometimes they're divergent um, in the next lesson. Have a good day, everyone.